padre appunto presiderà questa Eucaristia alle 9.15 e l'orario fissato per questo inizio, per l'inizio di questa celebrazione eucaristica. All'esterno devo dire che ci sono dei megaschermi che permettono a tutti coloro che non hanno potuto entrare nella cattedrale, la cattedrale contiene circa 3.000 persone, di poter seguire e di poter partecipare all'Eucaristia. Ed ecco il Papa che fa il suo ingresso nella cattedrale di New York cattedrale dedicata a San Patrizio. Il Papa bacia il crocefisso, lo ricordiamo per coloro che stanno seguendo tramite la radio e per coloro che eh, non vedenti devono sapere quello che fa il Papa. Il Papa ora sta spergendo con l'acqua benedetta i fedeli facendo il suo ingresso nella cattedrale. E tra le varie suore il vestito che portano, vediamo, le missionarie della carità, le suore di Madre Teresa, ma abbiamo visto anche la rappresentanza, lo dico per Monsignor Furio che è in studio, delle suore brigidine.
anche le immagini. Come possiamo vedere dalle immagini, eh, numerosissimi sacerdoti religiosi e anche le religiose, ma numerosi anche i vescovi che concelebrano col Santo Padre.
ed ora con il segno della croce e il saluto di pace a voi a inizio questa solenne concelebrazione presieduta da Papa Benedetto XVI. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Most Holy Father, welcome to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Most Holy Father, the cornerstone of this historic edifice was laid on August 15, 1858, by His Excellency the Most Reverend John Joseph Hughes, the first Archbishop of New York. Since then, St. Patrick's Cathedral has been the spiritual center of Catholic life and worship for the people of God of the Archdiocese of New York and a beloved house of prayer for not only Catholics across the nation but also for visitors of all faiths, races and cultures from every corner of the globe. It was built with the pennies of the poor and serves as the Cathedral Church of what must be one of the most diverse communities of faith in all the world. Mass is offered in parishes of the Archdiocese in 35 languages every Sunday and Holy Day. And all of this is reflected here in St. Patrick's, where Eucharistic celebrations are scheduled each year in the native languages of immigrants, pilgrims, and visitors from Europe, Asia, Africa, Oceania, and the Americas. It is most fitting, therefore, that we are gathered here in the first of the three settings of hope that you, Most Holy Father, identify and brilliantly proclaim in your most recent encyclical letter, Saved by Hope. The setting, namely, of prayer. For we are bishops, priests, deacons, and men and women in consecrated life of Greater New York and all 195 dioceses and archdioceses of this beloved nation. Called by the Divine Savior to announce and live the gospel, to guide the faithful in justice and charity, and to lead them in prayer, we count ourselves truly blessed to be here with you, our Supreme Shepherd, to pray the Mass with you and to hear from you what we must strive to be and do if we are to fulfill the vocation of hope which we most willingly committed ourselves to at our ordination and religious profession. Most Holy Father, you know our weaknesses and our strengths. 
You know our joys and our sorrows. You know our victories and our defeats. As successor of Peter and vicar of Christ, confirm us in our faith and in our service to the Lord and his holy people. At the same time, Never a day will pass that we will fail to speak to the Savior and his mother Mary, the two that is especially heartfelt. We are greatly honored that you begin your fourth year as Bishop of Rome and Shepherd of the Church Universal here with us. Please know that as your loyal sons and daughters in Jesus Christ, we prayerfully wish you every grace, blessing, and happiness throughout the years that lie ahead. Heartfelt congratulations on the occasion of your third anniversary as Vicar of Christ and Supreme Pastor of the Church. Beatissime Pater, ad multos annos, vivas, vivas. Dear friends in the Lord, it is with great joy that I celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass with you here in New York in this beautiful cathedral of the Archdiocese of New York. May our coming together in prayer renew us in the hope and love of our Lord Jesus Christ. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, and the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
in excelsis Dio. Thank you.